everybody. You're listening to the Uncensored Truth Podcast with your brother, Old God, and Sam. And we're going all the way in today on this Thursday evening. Please hit the like button and make sure you share this video. Let's talk about your boy, 6 9 man. So he came back from his European tour, and you said he was trying to change his ways and all that. And he gets off the plane, yeah, yeah, at JFK, and immediately gets arrested for... Something that happened back in January where he allegedly choked a 16-year-old boy down at the Houston's Galleria Mall. Now they're going to hold him and extradite him to Houston. Is this nigga in trouble? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. He definitely is. And you got New right. York holding him right now for what is saying at least 10 days, minimum 10 days before he even gets out to Houston. Now, this is a dude, like I said, who seemed to be turning around, changing his stripes after the unfortunate death of Triple X. I'm not going to say the rest of his name because I hear everyone in the comments saying, section saying I'm fucking it up. So Triple X is who we're going to talk about. Rest right, in peace. Right, right. You know what I mean? But it seemed like he was changing his ways. He went through and said on social media he didn't want to troll anybody no more. He didn't want to do it. I was very hopeful in saying that he was changing and you told me oh, you're bugging. He ain't. And it looks like it's the situation because then you told me he was trolling somebody else. I didn't get to see that video. Right. But to get back to the case, um, this doesn't look good for him. Now, we don't know if he choked a young kid. We don't know what's going on. But I strictly say it doesn't look good on him because now it puts him in an environment where he's clearly made enemy. Whether they're in there or out of there, he's he's disrespected numerous places. We all know these these um the jails and wherever he's going to be. They got a number of different people throughout it. Don't have at the mercy of the, uh, the COs, really. You feel me? And he don't know if we piss one of them off. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. just like it's a situation in a comfortable situation that if you are acting, if you are trolling or you're not the person you say you are, or even if you are, you don't want to be in this shit. And now he's nah. sitting there behind bars with seeming to be a little longer than he wanted to. It's not as easy as you getting bailed out and getting out of there. Right. He insists he's definitely in some shit. Yeah. So you're going to get his lawyers working behind the scene, hopefully try to arrange something. But it looks like he's going to be headed to Houston. Now, Houston, we have a problem. We all remember <laughs> Well, he got into a Houston with the Prince family, and we all know what happened with that. Yeah, Jay yeah. Prince, the OG, came out and said that he really he heard the young boy yapping and all that. And one day he was going, if he wanted it, he was going to get it. Basically, in in, in um, real short paraphrasing. But mm-hmm. do you think he's going to find a problem in Houston out there? They have him PC. He'd be good, man. I think he's a he's a high pro- profile celebrity. He'll be good. Once again, I don't mean nothing can't happen behind the wall. Anything can happen at any time. We hope not, but we talked right. about it. Like he, he did a lot of damage and it's not going to be easily fixed. Definitely not within a year. It was just still fresh as fuck. Yes, sir. Yeah, you know I mean, so hopefully, I mean. Saddle, you know the war is done. Oh, be the last one standing, cause we the only one. 